Hello, my name is Dawn Sprangle. I am your child's Global Connections teacher um, for this year, and I'm going to show you today how to use our Blackboard Classroom website page. Right now you're looking at the North High School website. I highly recommend that you save this as one of your favorites um, because you'll be using this the next four years to navigate um, why your child is in high school. In order to find the Blackboard site, you are going to click on Students, and Blackboard is one of the link options. You can also save the Blackboard um, site um, in your favorites as well if you'd like to. The username and password is different than the one that you set for your Home Access Center. Your child um, has been given a specific username and password. It is the same one that they use to log into our network to get on a computer here at school. So you will need to ask them for it in order to gain access. So I am logging in right now. This is my home page. Um, please excuse the number of courses I have. Your child will have far less courses listed. Um, these are my course offerings for both last year and this year. Um, I am going to find my global connections, my current global connections period. And here is my global connections um, page. So this is where they come. Um, when they first click on that link, it's the home page. If you see any important announcements, they would be listed here. But the most important thing are these buttons that are on the left hand side. For staff information, um, I do have my office number, email address, and phone listed there. The best way to reach me is definitely through my email because I could access that anywhere. Under course documents, I have attachments of um, beginning of the year paperwork, such as the syllabus, classroom policies, and the consequences and expectations. One of the most important links, though, is the homework link. And here I'm going to say um, you're going to want to click on daily homework assignments. Every week, um, either on Friday or Monday morning, I go on and I list out what the homework is going to be for the entire week. So, if you look right now, the week of September 16th to 20th, I have it all listed. If there's a test coming up, I might put something, um, an important message at the bottom. What you could do is you could highlight and then print out this specific little message, put it on your um, fridge so that you could post your child's homework for the week. Under test review, um, are a, cup, a couple different um, tools and resources to help your child be successful. The first one is Quizlet and it's going to open um, all these different Quizlets I created. Quizlet is an online um, resource that allows students to play with the vocabulary that's important for a unit. So here is the one on culture in Mesopotamia. There are flashcards for the different terms. They definitely can use it um, to fill out their vocabulary notebooks. Um, and they can print out these as well. They can test themselves on these vocabulary words. And then they could also play games um, to go ahead and learn the vocabulary words as well. So um, a large area ruled by one person is an empire, and then it disappears. But it's just a great way to be able to study those vocabulary words that are important. Um, back to the test review section. Test review guides, these are the ones that I hand out to them a week before the test. Um, and these are the ones that I'll try emailing you beforehand. So all I need to do is click on it and it will end up downloading it um, for you to do. Um, my downloads are usually in my Word or they are in um, PDF for you to access. And if you need me to convert one for you, just let me know. So I'm just going to show you one that, that pops up and opens. If your child would prefer um, typing their answers into this or other um, tools that I on Blackboard, um, feel free to allow them to do so. 
And the last thing in the review section is that I do have review games. Um, each test of Jeopardy has about three questions that are relevant to the um, test. It would be a good way for them to be able to check their answers on their study guide to this um, to see if they are correct. Um, next is the textbook. I have the um, textbook sections listed by unit so they could go in um, and find the ones that correspond to the study guide. The entire textbook is not uploaded, just the specific study guide sections. If they need a um, audio version of the textbook, please have them contact their case manager or their LRC teacher um, because we do have Learning Ally at our school and we could set up getting Learning Ally on either a tablet or a smartphone um, as well as a computer here for them to use so that they could have the audio version of the textbook. Um, study guides is primarily my form of nightly homework. We have um, all ten of the study guide sections and the corresponding stamp sheets here. So if your child forgets their study guide at home, they could print out the study guide, um, print out just a section of the study guide, um, and bring that in. There are notes for each of the sections, so if I click on Unit 1 or 2, um, you can find the notes on Culture, Mesopotamia, Hammurabi, Judaism, um, and so on. For Projects, I have um, listed under the different projects. I have various, either if it's a web quest, I have the links. Um, and if you go into, let me pick a good one, I'll pick African Mask, you will have the rubrics, the questions, and if there's a template, and then I'll put up examples. So this is one that I did um, because we have them do an African Mask during second semester. Um, and here's my um, questions that I, I wrote and how I filled out the chart. So they just get an example. And then I threw up my um, my drawing of what my mask would look like so that they can see a finished example. Um, many of the different projects have student examples. Some of them are accompanied by a rubric so that they can see what a good um, sample looks like. Vocabulary notebooks, those are those purple notebooks that um, they have. If they lose one or need to get another, they could go ahead and download them. And then the last section is Melcon. Melcon is the writing graphic organizer that we use to um, create solid paragraphs. You have example, you have the graphic organizer here, examples, and also the transitions page. So this is the end of my Blackboard tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. But in order to get started, please ask your child for their username and password. Thank you.